hello and welcome to another scroll box. If you don't know what a scroll box is, it is an art subscription box where you pay a monthly fee of £15 for the box itself and you are sent a random selection of art supplies to try out and there is also a thing called a scroller challenge within the box where it gives you a word or a phrase that you use just the supplies in the box to create a piece of art based off that word or phrase. So like I say, the box itself is £15 and for the UK it's free shipping, free postage and for you know other places it is an additional £15 I think, um, but it is a great, great box, um, subscription box, I really enjoy it every month that it comes to me. So anyway, we'll just get on and open this box. So I haven't seen anything inside just yet. As you can see, I am clearly just opening it now. Okay. And last but not least. Okie dokie. Happens to me every time. Okay, so. take everything else of the box. So the box also contains a featured artist which we can see here. So that's very interesting art. Looks to be painted with some sort of watercolour perhaps. And here is a little bit about the featured artist, Tillith artist from Germany so there's some of her social medias and, and a bit more about her there okay so on to the supplies so we've got some paper um, feels like watercolor paper it's a bit got a bit of texture to it it's a little bit thicker it um, might tell us a bit more about that so here are the supplies okay we'll put that to one side and we get our lovely scroll by sticker I haven't had a full one I've been getting in so as you can see, I have a lot of them. <laughs> That's on the side. So for now, the scroller challenge is space mask, 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 space mask. Okay. So oh, we get two stickers on this one. Good. Right. Oh, interesting. And our lovely sweet. Okay. Great, so let's read off this. So first of all, we have some Van Gogh, Van Gogh, Van Gogh, however you want to pronounce that. Um, these are watercolours, so as I predicted. So it says here, uh, the watercolours are brilliant, intense and very transparent. Um, highest degree of white fastness, ensuring your work displays the same colour decades later. Not that anything I do is going to be around decades later. But <laughs> right, okay, so we have Prussian blue. I never know how to say this. Let's go with uh, the thallo blue instead. <laughs> um, and we also have a lemon yellow, so that's a bit of an interesting mix. We can obviously make some greens with that, some different greens, um, but an interesting mix with the blues and the yellow there. Then we have a Pentel Correct Express pen. So I'm assuming this is like, well, several names for it, Whiteout, um, Tipex, um, Liquid Paper. I think this is a version of that, Pentel's version. It's one of those pen ones. So it's got a fine nib. I haven't had much success with these. I already have a similar one and it never really comes out very well, but we can try that out and see what that's going to be like. Um, next is some Koinor Mondula's watercolour pencils. So again, we've got a blue, so that does match, but sometimes that might not be a good thing, we'll have to see. We also have a black and a pink. Do these have colour names? No, they've just got numbers on. Sorry about that, my camera cut out a little bit there. But yes, so we've got the blue, the black, and this pinky kind of colour here. Um, watercolour pencils, so that'll be interesting to use. And 
Next we have some Sea White Synthetic Round Brushes. So we've had some Sea Whites in the boxes before. I have them over here. These, um, I can't remember. I think we got these with the acrylics. So I'm assuming these are more for watercolours and the previous ones we had were for acrylics. So we have a size 2 and a 12. So one quite large and one quite small. So that's quite interesting. And then it actually tells us what the paper is this time. This is Bockingford, 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 watercolour paper, 190 GSM. So, um, yeah, it's a decent thickness and it is watercolour paper. So it's made in England. So that's quite cool. Um, yeah, so let's try out a couple of these things. I don't have any water with me. I do have a water brush though, so we can try out the watercolours a little. So, let's open up here. Let's get to a page. Okay, it's gone through. We'll try it here. Okay, so we have, let's try a tiny bit of each watercolour. Oh, wow. Okay, didn't want that to happen. But it did. Okay, I didn't that much out. I'm not going to try them all then because since I've just wasted that. <laughs> well actually I want to try them all because I want to see what the colours are like. Let's not squeeze, let's not squeeze, let's not squeeze. Okay. This isn't, oh, this is messy for God's sake. <laughs> right, let's not squeeze. And yellow. So we've got very dark blue there. Um, that push it. And then we've got this. So let's go with a little bit of this and then I want to do a blending, see if it blends. So let's go with You know, I'm not going to try the brushes out because they're just brushes, aren't they? <laughs> um, let's do these first. So, has this even got any water in? Yes, it does. Okay. So, uh, bearing in mind my water brush is a little bit dirty on the tip, <laughs> but it does pick that colour up and it doesn't leave. Do you know when we use some sort of, some watercolour pencils, they leave the streakiness of the pencil behind um, but lift up a bit of the colour? I hate when that happens. Um, but this seems to be doing very, very well. Look at that. Yeah, that picked it up perfectly. You can get some nice techniques with that. Do these, blend these together. So, yeah, look at that. Blend nicely. Create a nice colour there. The black looks good. Okay, and then I'm just going to dab a little drop of water on each of these. I'm going to go with the yellow first because it's the lightest. Look at that. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Look how bright that yellow is. That's a beautiful yellow. I'm going to just dab a bit of that there. Clean my brush down here. That's the thing I hate about water brushes. You can never clean them, can you? see down here it's blending very nicely. I'll zoom in for you. Don't let that zoom in much but yeah. Look at that green. You can create quite a nice vibrant green there and then this this blue is very dark and then you mix it with the yellow and you can create a nice dark kind of foresty green there. That's great. So we've got some nice um, Nice colours here. I need to wash this brush out. <laughs> um, got some nice colours there. Um, and the pencil, I think if you layer the pencil, I'm sure it will work quite well. And you know, just creating different things, um, different textures with that would be quite a nice uh, effect. And yeah, the, the correction pen, lastly, this correction pen. Oh, wow, that came out straight away. So let's go on something that's not. 
So it says it has a fine nib, but you've got to squeeze it so it kind of doesn't come out that fine. That's as fine as you're going to get it. Quite good though. This is not blocking up so far. Let me make sure it's not going to block up either. Um, that's always an issue you have with correction pens. Yeah, so that's great. So hopefully we can create some really, really nice, um, really not some really nice. Um, What's the word? Really nice art with this. <laughs> so, and let's have a recap on our scroll challenge. It's space mask. So, yeah, so we've got some nice dark colours to create a spacey scene um, and a mask. And so that's the feat, that's what the featured artist did. So I wonder where, how they got these colours. Probably didn't get it from this box. <laughs> but yeah, so I hope that, that this goes well and I'll see you soon for the rest of the app. Yeah. Bye. Well, what an interesting challenge this month's was. So I think that the supplies in this box were actually amazing. I've been so used to just getting pens, you know, a variety of pens and things that some watercolours was um, a welcome kind of um, supply in the box and I know we've had the watercolours, the koi watercolours before and some acrylic paints before but um, this was, it was just a nice change after the last couple of boxes so basically the the challenge was what was it, cosmic mask and I kind of I've been, it took me a while to do this um, challenge because my post box at my new house is kind of very very small so the box doesn't get posted through it anymore even though should do um, and so I have to keep going to the post office to collect it and obviously my working hours um, start before the post office opens and end after it shuts so I'm unable to go and get the the scroller box straight away once it's actually arrived so that's why it took me so long to get this video out but I decided to start off with testing out the colours see what colours I could make and although I knew that the cosmic theme would, wouldn't really allow too much greeny colours, um, I wanted to see what greens I could make from this, which was really handy because um, I just I just feel like for other projects I can use it. And as you saw at the start there, I actually have um, a watercolour palette which I fill with Winsor & Newton Cotman tube watercolours and then let them dry and then it's kind of like a travel palette. And so I actually have a spare one of those just because I have too many paints to go in the first one um, and that's why I've put those in here so that's a nice addition to my little watercolour palette collection. So here you can see that I'm actually testing out my idea, um, not very well it was just kind of like a tester and I kind of, I feel like this is a generic kind of um, take on the scroller challenge. I feel like a lot of people did their own versions of this um, so mine's not really much different but I couldn't I just couldn't really think of with my time constraints with work I couldn't really think of anything that would be you know a different concept so that's why I went with this but I'm, I'm happy with how it looks and I like that it's it's still a good representation I haven't gone too far away from the scholar challenge brief um, in as far as the words that is <laughs> So here I'm just looking at, I'm just drawing out the face of the woman um, and I obviously didn't include her eyes because the cosmic part will be the mask, obviously. <laughs> and so I used the watercolour pencils. They were very, very nice and I did like them. They, they blended very well, they didn't really leave many strokes so you couldn't really tell it was a pencil, it just looks like I'm putting watercolour on there. And it was kind of difficult considering we didn't have a skin tone, only that pinky colour. So I obviously mixed it with the black and it kind of created more shading. So I was more adding shading more than anything. Um, but yeah, it was just a simple kind of uh, coloration to her skin there. And then I started with the cosmic part. I, I, um, the, the pink had to be put down first because of how light it is. And obviously because it's a pencil, it's gonna work better if you put it put it down first. That was my theory anyway, and that's how I did it. So yeah, I just laid down the pink and and then I just added the blue, obviously as you can see, to create more of a purple. 
and then I slowly added like you would if you search um, how to do a watercolour um, galaxy this is how you do it you layer up the different colours and create patches and they all blend and that's how you create your um, watercolour galaxy so that's what I was doing I was starting with the light colours and layering up there were a few points when I was doing the layers where I didn't quite like the look of it I added too much colour to it um, i.e. the blues and lost a bit of the purpley pinks and so I had to add that in afterwards but what I did learn was adding your pencil over wet paint really does not do well <laughs> it basically it leaves the strokes and that's when you get that you can see where I've put pencil down kind of look so it took a lot to layer over those parts that I've done that and then I had to really wait for it to dry it's kind of a long tedious process in the end um, but as you can see I'm adding tendrils to the base of the galaxy to look like they're grabbing at her face and I'm not sure if I achieved that how I pictured it at first but I don't think it looks too badly um, yeah I'll since you're just watching me layer up the galaxy I'll talk about what I think of the supplies the paints very vibrant great colors great blending just overall really good watercolors I would recommend um, them I haven't looked at the prices of them I don't know how cheap they are um, but they're a good quality I would say and I would recommend them like I say with the pencils again good quality um, I couldn't fault them. There's a part where I really wanted to get some a lot of that pink down soon, you'll see. And so instead of doing the pencil, because obviously I figured out that um, fault with doing that method, I actually took the nib and crushed it into my palette and then added water to, there you go, here, you can see that here. I actually crushed the nib into the palette, broke it up, added water to it and created a much more uh, thick colour um, which which worked well I could add it more as a paint rather than a pencil and then blend it if you know what I mean and it worked a little bit better than adding the pencil straight over the paint and um, so that's what I did um, the paper again really fantastic it bowed a little bit because I didn't have it taped down but once it dries it's it's perfectly fine and um, can't really fault it and I did add a lot of water as you can see a hell of a lot of water in fact um, and then lastly the Tipex white out whatever you want to call it pen its nib wasn't as fine as I would have liked it's definitely not the supply I think the artist used correct me if I'm wrong artist if you ever did watch something in my video <laughs> um, but I don't think it is the the white highlight pen that they used on their art and in fact it was kind of it flowed a lot a lot better than I thought it would but it was creating the dots just was very difficult I think having a nice white paint would have been better you can use toothbrush spray it would have looked a lot nicer but I suppose for the challenge it worked well kind of doing a lot of dots and then adding clusters to show that there's a cluster of stars in areas it's not as natural as I'd like it to look but um, it's not too too bad and yeah it, it, I couldn't really fault it and then I added white to her face on her nose and lips to create some highlights there um, which worked okay um, yeah I'm quite happy with this challenge actually again I wish I could have thought out the box thought outside the box a little bit more oh just to mention here I sharpened the pink pencil and actually on the sharpenings there the tips that I've been um, shaved off which I actually broke off and added water to again to create more of the uh, purple color so yeah there's different obviously no wastage I'd hate wasting so I kind of reused little bits like that just a little tip if you need it um, yeah I don't think there's much else I can say about this challenge other than I enjoyed the supplies they were all decent quality nothing nothing bad the art turned out fairly decent I'm quite happy with it and I've enjoyed looking at everyone else's so if you're, if you're curious about this challenge if you've not heard about scroll boxes I suggest going on somewhere like Twitter especially Instagram and kind of searching the hashtag scrawler challenge and you'll find some amazing artwork that people have created with these boxes and it's it blows me away every month looking at everyone's and yeah I really enjoy it and feel free to tag me in some I'd love to see your artwork once you've done it as well so thank you very much for watching please give this video a thumbs up if you if you liked it and if you want to see more I do scroll box openings every month and 
little speed paints and other things and Inktober's coming up so a challenging month this next month and um, so subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.